So let's just start with this first question, I'm talking about emotional awareness, being emotionally present. What is emotionally, uh, what is emotional awareness, and can we give some examples of what that is? Yeah, and so emotional awareness really is broken up into three parts. It is being able to recognize our own emotions and the emotions of others. It also includes being able to recognize and label emotions in an appropriate way. Mm. And then really, I think the biggest part of this is being able to use all of this information to guide our thinking, feelings, and behavior. So that just kind of in a nutshell is what what really people think about when they're talking about emotional awareness. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I would kind of encapsulate it as it's like the what, why, and where of our feelings. Like, okay, what am I feeling? Mm. And, and why am I feeling that way? Like what actually happened in my environment? What, what occurred around me? And was it actually something someone said or did or just yeah. something I'm thinking about? And then the where of, and where might that be coming from? How does it link to my past yeah. or my trauma or patterns? Um, and, and so just many different ways that we can experience that are just being aware I'm feeling something. And yeah. what I see also is having the, you know, a, I think a buzzword in our culture right now is mindfulness that mindfulness of that what I feel or what I'm experiencing emotionally is not the same as who I am. Yeah. So having some separation between what I feel and my identity, because what can happen mm-hmm. as an example, like we might f- say, I, I, if I'm feeling really down, I might be tempted to think I'm worthless or I'm not good enough. Right. And emotional health would be able to separate that and go, no, I'm right now I'm having an emotion yeah. Of feeling like I'm yeah. worthless. So where might that be coming from? Why am I experiencing that? Yeah. And and that health comes as we recognize that's my emotions don't define who I am. To to recognize and understand them is what then can help us make good choices based on yeah. what we're experiencing and feeling. Yeah. And that's one thing I try to do is tie especially the unwanted behaviors that I have. And I mean, I feel like I just bare my soul on this podcast for so many people. So they know that my three year old Brady is triggering anger in me consistently. Um, and we're in the, the you know, the three major stage of that. But um, <clears throat> for me, emotional awareness is being able to, if I get angry or I raise my voice or I feel like, I mean, this happens often where he'll call me into his room after he's gone to bed um, and I'll just be clenching my teeth in my hands as I'm walking down the hallway to go to his room. If I can tie those things to what's underneath, like what feelings, you know, what emotions are there, that for me is emotional awareness. That's a practical way is is like seeing, I don't want to be angry anymore, but if I want to stop doing that thing, I need to figure out what is it that mo- that's motivating it. And usually it's an emotional response. And for me, practically, uh, we're in a season where I don't get a lot of alone time. And I don't mean sex. I just mean alone time with my wife, like me and her without our children. Yeah. Um, and all the parents who now, you guys both, right, who are in this different season, where you actually do get alone time with your spouse, you're just like, oh, we totally understand, right? <laughs> Um, so for me, what I feel like is happening is when my son asks me to come into his room, what he's doing is not actually valuing my time with my wife the same way I am. And it makes me irritated. Don't you get it? You're asleep. This is my time. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I'm emotionally responding to uh, a sense of loss, a sense of disrespect. And so for me, that I've been able to tie those things to what happens with my anger. Does that solve the problem? (laughs) No. But it at least helps me identify what the problem is and then make steps to alleviate it. Yeah.